Hi, I'm Jacqueline Nelson. And I'm Mike Babbitt. And today's bottom line is all about what can kill you and what's just unpleasant. So Mike, governments are going after tobacco and some of Canada's wealthiest people. But let's start with taxes. Well, Alberta is the latest. The province had already boosted tax rates for high income earners and now this week in the budget they're going after smokers. Remember, Alberta doesn't have a sales tax but they are boosting the levies on tobacco and booze. And those are kind of easy targets. I mean, most people aren't wealthy enough to be affected by this and tobacco, that's nothing new. Governments have been going after that for decades. And I think people understand that Alberta is suffering right now with low oil prices and hikes are going to have to come from somewhere. I mean, who's going to complain? Well, big tobacco for one. Here's an interesting thing. You know, Imperial Tobacco has been well, kind of aggressive of late, you know, slamming tax increases. No sooner was the Alberta budget released than they were out there talking it down. Now, what they go after is the idea that what this helps is organized crime. As they put it, after the budget, there's a perfect storm brewing in Alberta for the illegal tobacco trade. Yeah, and according to Imperial, Ontario, Quebec, these provinces are a hotbed for these contraband smokes. Now they're citing Alberta first for banning menthol tobacco and then for hiking taxes, but they say these moves are not going to stop people from smoking. <laughs> yeah. They don't mention dying either. You know, Jacqueline, I don't think they're ever going to win this. I mean, sure, you can complain about how this is a revenue stream for a troubled government and, and how this widening price gap between legal and illegal cigarettes, uh, you know, is driving people to the illegal side. But I, I got to tell you, I don't think in this day and age, anybody is going to shed a tear for the tobacco industry. No, oh, not for poor troubled tobacco. <laughs> Okay, well, the other thing that happened this week was a Quebec appeal court ruling that ordered two tobacco companies to pay nearly $1 billion in a class action case. Yeah, Imperial didn't like that one either. It doesn't think it should have to put up security until the legal process has, you know, com completely run its course. Now, for the record, both cigarette production and sales were up in September. Okay, so then it's a little bit of a case of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Well, except in this case, not only does it suck the money out of your wallet, it sucks the air out of your lungs. All things considered, I'd rather be rich than dead.